All right, we have the white habanero. Okay, so we're ha the white habanero. There are generally the two. There's two types of white habaneros that I know are available in the market. There's the small white habaneros, and then there's the large white habaneros. I'm not sure if this is the small white habaneros. There are actually two different species of plants. Um, we'll see when we get inside what which habanero this is. Uh, I have a picture of the exact uh, picture that I got from the seed company, which should indicate to me whether it's the large variety or the small variety. So at this point, I don't know what variety um, it is. All right. So as far as the leaves go, I can't really identify it. These plants are only about two and a half inches tall. They're kind of small. Um, I really can't say much about them. No fruits, no flowers. Uh, you can see I got these two tomato plants growing alongside of them. They're staying in a pot for now until the sun decides to subside a little bit. And we can get some cooler weather right now to providing shade for, the, for these little plants. Um, more than likely, I'll be bringing these in for the winter and winter them, wintering them over. I don't think I will get fruit through the winter. I might get fruit by the end of the winter, maybe end of November, December. Maybe I'll get lucky, I'll get some off of that. But I really not depending on that. The goal uh, for these that I have going right now is to winter over what's not going to be mature enough to produce flower and fruit. And then I can take them out in the spring and I'll bring you guys along with me and show you the results of wintering over your peppers and um, what to expect and how to do it the way I do it anyway. I mean, everybody does it differently, but um, I'll show you how I do it and I'll bring you along for the ride. You get to see... Uh, you know how this how this little uh, experiment thing works. I've been doing this now for several years, uh, wintering over peppers. I, like I say, I have some plants. I have some pepper plants that are going to be four years old. This, uh, um, I believe, in November, November, December. Oh no, wait. Yeah, somewhere around there. Because some some of these plants I started late in the season. I don't remember. I honestly I don't want to give you false information. But some I know the ones I got right now are, are definitely uh three years and soon to be four. So by next spring they should definitely be four years by then. Regard forget about any of that. I'm sorry I'm digressing. This is the white habanero. Again I don't know if it's the big one or the small one. You can see the leaves kind of look like they're going to be broadleaf because of those lobes forming in the back, you know. Um, well, we're going to wait with any of that because I can't really tell. These are too, way too small for uh, me to really get into any of that right now. But I just want to get this up and out there so I can just update the video. Uh, and it's, you know, it's in the log as far as what we got and what we don't have. All right. So that's the uh, white habanero. See you guys. Okay, so it turns out that this is the small white habanero. This isn't the larger version of the white habanero. As I was telling you earlier, there's two versions of this, and I managed to grab the small version of the habanero from TradeWindFruits.com. This is an, another reason why I like this company is they got a really good selection of peppers. This is actually a hard one to find. I, I was su surprised that TradeWind Fruits actually had it. Uh, and for 50 cents, guys, 50 cents, all right, this is a collector's item right here. This is definitely one, if you're a pepper grower and you like to grow your peppers, uh, this is one you'd probably want to add to your collection. This is going to be very fascinating to see uh, some of these little white peppers come out of it. I'm just psyched that I actually got some of these to grow. And so uh, 50 cents, guys, come on. You can't beat that. You buy them just for the sake, even if you don't plant them, buy them and put them in your seed little seed uh, thing like I do. I, you know, I buy my seeds and I store them in a very cool environment and, and it's sort of like collecting baseball cards to me. So, but anyway, uh, 50 cents, trade wind fruits. All right, 25 seeds. I believe that's accurate. Here's the package. Uh, I got to be careful because I opened it from the bottom, then and I. Uh, yeah, I opened it from the bottom. Uh, so here's the package. Alright. It's a Chianti. They, they sh really should define which pepper they're selling you on the bag. You know, it should tell you it's a small one. There's, uh, I don't know if it's the same genus or what. I don't know. But there's your uh, lot number. 
Okay, so that tells you that they they are bin separating their seeds. Uh, there's some quality control going into their seeds. All right, so um, that's the package. All right, and it's uh, these Scoville units are 350,000, which is pretty much like a regular habanero, like. The habaneros that you see that I'm growing on those three-year-old plants, uh, those heat that heat can range on those from like I don't know, ten thousand to three hundred thousand, something like that. On those habaneros I got, I mean, some of them you could eat good, and some of them are just, <laughs> I mean, they're fire in your mouth. Those, uh, they're just absolutely hot. I don't know what makes them hotter or not. I just some, sometimes you pick them, they're okay. Sometimes you get them and they're like, oh my god, you know, it's just. But anyway, uh, the rare white habanero ripens to a snow white or slightly creamy color. I'm hoping I get the snow white type. I hope they don't get creamy because I, I, creamy colors like some of the peppers you see in there now are kind of like yellow, but not yellow cream. But I don't want them white like this. This is what I want. I don't want creamy colored habaneros. Um, yeah, so they're saying that it's the one inch small version of this, so, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it, details, uh, these details will be below in the description, and, uh, it's, uh, the small white habanero, trade wind fruits.